a hustle. It's a 1918 gas car. It's going to have to be special. Oh, it's definitely going to be special. This is cool. We've never done anything with such historical value. If we break something, we're going to be in big trouble. Gonna do a little racing. We want everyone to be safe out there, okay? No reckless, out of control smashing and banging. I don't have a driver's license, so I'm not making any promises. Remember back in the day when things were made by hand and people took pride in their work? My name's Rick Dale, and I bring these things back to life. Every restoration has its own set of challenges. There's no owner's manual for what we do, but there's no job we can't handle. Holy crap, Roger. Roger's a customer that I've had for quite a few years. He has a great eye. He brings me great stuff, and this is no exception. This thing is absolutely awesome. It's a 1918 Gilbert & Barker Model T57 gas car. I've known Rick Dale for about two years. I don't plan on keeping the gas car myself. We want to restore it and make it unique and have it for sale. These are really rare. Where'd you find this? Uh, Florida, California. I just said $400 and uh, he said sold. $400, that's a great price. This is right around $1,100 just the way this sits. Because they didn't have gas stations on every single street back then, these things they used to push around on the streets and actually fill cars with this. It holds 60 gallons, and back in the day, we probably had an 8-gallon tank and a T, so you had quite a few cars you could fill up with that. Really? Could you just imagine pushing this thing around, up hills, down hills? I mean, this guy definitely was sweating it out. All right, so now for the fun part. Well, I've got a $2,500 budget. <laughs> well, there's no way. We're looking at probably about 40 hours in body work on this alone, and it's missing some parts. Then I'm thinking right about uh, probably five hours in painting. So this is going to run you right around $3,500 to get the full thing restored. I could go to 35, but it's going to have to be special. Oh, it's definitely going to be special for 3,500. I got no problem with that. I think we got a deal. He's on some other projects for me. By the time to make it unique, and I've got a budget to work with, but he'll do his best to make both elements happen. He's buying these machines and paying to have them restored for only one reason, to make money. The more money he makes, the more likely he is to bring more stuff back. I have a package for you. What's up? Here. Kelly's my girlfriend and she handles all the administrative work here at the shop. So when I can't meet with a customer in person, she gets all the info needed to get the project started. What do we got? Well, I'll give you a hint. Okay, what's that? One small step for you. <laughs> you ready? Is it a self-help book? Open it up. Yeah? Oh man, this is cool. We ain't got no radiation in that sucker. It's used for NASA to load fuel into the Gemini spacecraft. So it wasn't one that went up. It was one of the guy that was on the ground fueling the rigs. It's got cool stuff. I mean, it's got a place in there for uh, radio control. It's got vents in it for breathing. Looks like it's made out of a, you know, a special plastic. It probably was crush proof. It probably went into different pressures. The front, you know how we use plexiglass and stuff? This could be that material Lexan or something like that to, to make sure it didn't shatter. The main thing for this thing was is to keep the guy from that fuel that they were loading in into the rockets. I mean, that stuff is serious stuff. I mean, zippity doo dah, you're done. The Gemini missions were the final missions leading us up to actually putting a man on the moon. We've never done anything with such historical value. They we're not gonna find any parts for this. So as far as us quoting the customer, $500 to put a paint job on it, this is probably our biggest challenge right now, is just, just making this plexiglass in this shape. I mean, this could be 300 could be $1,000 to get done. And you notice that this one's clear. He did mention that he wanted the, uh, the tint in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so that's another task. There are 800 of these things laying around in the landfills. If we break something or screw it up, we're going to be in big trouble. Earlier, a customer dropped off a 1918 Gilbert Barker gas car. First step of the process is to sandblast the hell out of it. After it's been sandblasted, we're going to break it down into pieces. Let's go. 
All right, guys, how's it going? It's going good. Sitting there. My idea on this thing, I wanted to design this after an old gas station out of California, which was huge into the racing scene. Racing, huh? It's just never going to go away, is it? I've raced shifter carts for nine years. I love racing, and recently Tyler's gotten into it too. I may be old, but I still can kick his ass. You can't kick my ass. All right, Tyler, you know what? We're going to go to the track, and we're going to race. Okay. The loser sweeps the whole shot. All right. We in? Yeah. Get that finished. There's no way he's going to be able to beat me. I'm going to whoop his ass. Now we're up to the process that I'm most concerned about, the face shield. We break it, it's over, man. You think NASA would approve this method? No. Houston, we have a problem. Gonna do a little racing? Last time I won one of these, I ended up in jail. We need to tear this down real careful, because it's... Old and it's rare. If Brelly breaks anything on this NASA helmet, Rick's gonna chew my ass out. So I am watching him like a hawk. Let's get this seal off here. Be careful with it. Get this glass out, because it has to be replaced, because it's broke. And we need a crescent wrench to take this little thing off. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy. Wrong way. You're going tightening it. Left. Yes, and you're turning it right. Left. Yes, this left, your other left. There you go. After disassembling the NASA helmet, the first process is to sand it down and then get it ready for bodywork. This thing's got a lot of old paint on it. In fact, it's got some material on it I don't even know what it is. It's going to take a lot of work to get the thing smooth in order for us to be able to get ready to paint. We've been working on a gas cart for a few days now. The goal of this restoration is to make it fully functional, and that means it needs to be able to hold gas. Okay, Tyler, what we're going to do is we're going to pour 15 inside there. And the pour 15, what that's going to do for us is make it to where when they do put fuel in it, it doesn't end up contaminating the fuel. The rust doesn't come back up. It actually acts as like a, a plastic liner. And you pour that in there, you're going to miss. This is like epoxy, so you want to keep it as clean as possible. Why can't I just pour it in the bottom and crush it around? There's a drain hole in it. It's just going to all come out the drain hole, and then the bottom of the thing is going to be ruined. Okay? Tyler's always looking for ways to cut corners, and there's absolutely no room for that in this business. You have to get one hand in there, and you're going to start with the sides and the bottom. Okay? It smells like death in here. What's death smell like? I don't know. One of the most unique projects we've had recently is a 1960s NASA helmet. But now we're up to the process that I'm most concerned about, the face shield. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some plaster Paris and make a mold inside of the face shield. This is an experiment, all right. Feel like the first grade? No, it's too smart for first grade. I'll be damned if I'm going to pay somebody $800 to, to make a piece of plastic one time. How are we looking, Rick? I think we're looking good. All right, this better hold. We break it, it's over, man. I'm gonna turn it over, and you're gonna hold on. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it. And then what I'd like to do is put it in an oven, put some plexiglass on top of it, and see if it flows down. You think NASA would approve this method for their helmet? No. It's going, man, it's jamming. Mm -hmm. Looking good. My mitts are smoking. You know, without a challenge, I'm bored. So, and I love making things. So I, this is no big deal to me. You ready? Houston, we have a problem. The plastic didn't bend as easy as I thought. It started wrinkling. That's a Freddy Krueger mask. I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna have to make one, somehow. Go. Okay. I'm your father. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's going there. It looks better than the other ones. Let me find our fingers here. Get it. Hurry it up.
I'm pretty disappointed that I couldn't uh, make it happen right now. The deadline's coming right up on me. I got, I got tomorrow. Customers coming in. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to whip this thing out. <laughs> to have one made, I'm looking at a week. So I gotta do something quick. <laughs> The gas cart's really coming along. Tyler prepped it with Pour 15, and now it's able to hold gas. Next step in the process is paint. Do a nice, fast coat on the whole piece, yeah. Okay. And sit and wait a while, yeah. okay? Don't get impatient, and it won't run. It will not run. The shield for the NASA helmet was a lot harder to do than I thought. I tried multiple times to try to save my customer and me a few hundred bucks. But it's not going to happen. Now, I'm going to have to pay big bucks to get one done by an expert. Hey, John. Hey, Rick. How you been? Hanging in there. I own, we do plastics. We do all kinds of plastic fabrications. So, uh, here it is. Oh, jeez. We tried four or five times, and we caught the stove on fire on the last time, so... Okay, I'll uh, do what I can do. Good luck. Yeah, Rick had to learn the hard way on the plastic, but uh, that's why I'm here. I do this stuff for a living. So we got two issues. The first one is our budget. We can't go too high on it, so I need to know. And the second is the time frame. I literally have the customer coming in tomorrow. I've got to make the mold, obviously. I've got to dry the material and then uh, obviously make the part. Cost factor, you're looking at probably 75 to 100 bucks. You nearly got me killed. We could have had this done for 75 bucks. Well, you learned something, didn't you? Yeah, plastic is flammable at 500 degrees. And uh, time frame, if I can get on it now, um, I can have it for you tomorrow morning. Oh, you the man, if you can do that. I got goosebumps, that felt good. John has the equipment to vacuum form plastic in a relatively simple and inexpensive way. It's going to be a little thinner than the original shield, but still just as strong. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Hey, you're doing us a huge favor. Nice All right, no problem. You're the man. This ought to be an interesting project. Nothing about this gas cart project's been easy, but we're almost ready to show it to the customer. Just a few final tweaks, and we're going to be ready. Champ. I'm extremely satisfied with the way this gas cart came out. I'm just hoping Roger is too. Hey Rick, where are you? That's awesome. Bring it in here, let's fill it up. <laughs> All right. Unbelievable. That's not what I expected. Yeah? It's better. This is something else. The car is just unbelievable. I, I had no idea it was going to turn out like it did. What did you do to this thing? It's totally different than what we had when we brought it in. Yeah, it was a little rough to begin with, that's for sure. This thing was rusted out. I mean, there's not one nut and bolt that didn't break off. And literally nothing moved. It was all frozen stiff. But if you pump this right now, this thing goes up and down. It sucks the gas up. Uh, how'd you come up with the orange paint? Well, I'm West Coast, OK? And Gilmore was a, a huge gas station just in like LA. They were also like IndyCar drivers, so they had a racing team. So me loving racing, I, I figured we'd do it in, that, in those colors. It West looks Coast. great. I mean, I, I really like the color. Just awesome. Surprised uh, with the paint, the tires, uh, the brass, the chrome, everything that he done to it was just exceptional. I'm overwhelmed with it, really. OK, uh, I've got 400 in it. And we agreed on 3,500 for the restoration. Are you still comfortable with that? Yep, yep. Okay, uh, so now we're about 3,900. What can we sell it for? 7,000 for this. Not a problem at all. <laughs> Somebody's going to put this in their garage next to their old Indy car that they got that's got Roar with Gilmore on the side of it. Bingo, bango, there you go. Well, it makes me want to go out and try to find another one. <laughs> Working with Roger's a good deal. He makes his money, and I make mine. After looking at the gas car, it's such a superior work that 
It's an easy sell to sell anything that Avery stars. I'll, I'll look for some more. Oh, yeah? All right. Bring another in. Okay. We've been working really hard on an NASA helmet, and when the customer arrives, I'm hoping he's going to be blown away. Oh, no way! Are you kidding me? We're going to do a little racing. If you crash, you could definitely get hurt. They stand no chance. He thinks he knows what he's doing. Come on, Tyler. Let's see what you got. We've been working really hard on a NASA helmet that was made for the Gemini missions. The hardest part was to get the face shield just right. This time, I had to outsource that because I couldn't get it done in the time frame that I needed to get it completed in. But it's not quite ready just yet. We got some spray tint. We're going to try to tint up the glass, and um, I think it should look good. And when the customer arrives, I'm hoping he's going to be blown away. I'm here to pick up my NASA helmet. And I'm kind of excited to see this thing because I thought there's no way anybody's going to be able to restore this thing. Oh, no way! Are you kidding me? How you doing, Mike? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Not very often you get to try one of those on. Holy. Straight out of NASA. Smoked. Is that cool? That's awesome, man. That it feels awesome. cool. It gives me goosebumps just having on. Dang. <laughs> it's night and day with this helmet. Unbelievable. How in the world did you get it to look like this? The shield on the front? Yeah. That is an art form in itself to get mm -hmm. that shape on there. We had to make a new face shield because of the other face shield. You know how it was just destroyed? Those cracks that were in there, there's no way I'd actually fix those. Believe me, I gave it my best shot. And we ended up having to take to somebody. I learned what you can do with plexiglass, what you can't do with plexiglass. The vacuum form way was the only way to do it. Now, the only thing about vacuum form, they got to use thinner material, you know, but they use such a bulletproof material yeah. that it still see, it still feels oh, yeah. like that thick stuff. End result, I I'm really happy with how it came oh, out. Yeah. Looks so much better than the clear. Yeah. Just gives it that uh, that Darth Vader appearance, you know. You're the look on the moon, you know, oh, when yeah, you're on yeah. the moon, that's yeah, what you saw. That, that, that the reflection of the yeah, dark face, yeah, you have yeah. every little detail on that. It just shines through. It's a weird shape. So when you're on it, you're trying to make it yeah. smooth. It was hard to get it perfectly smooth. The guy I got it from said that each guy was assigned that helmet. Right. And they were hand built. That's why the irregularities oh, for were their head. Look at those logos. Cool. How'd huh? you do that? The logo was all hand done. Wow. It was it was a decal that a guy made. I mean it shines like it was a oh, factory brand new, you know, helmet that you, you would get from NASA. Okay, Rick, so uh, how much that going to cost me? Is it going to be out of this world? <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to you before about $500, but with the face shield, um, it's going to be a total of six. Well, job well done. This thing's unbelievable. To have the whole helmet restored to the condition it's in now for $600 just blows my mind. That's one piece of history right there. Yeah. I mean, really. I don't think you could even put a price on that. I really, really don't. It's going to be a great display piece and on my shelf. And I'll, I'll just keep it for the rest of my life. I mean, the thing was a hunk of junk, ready to go in a trash can. My wife was about to kill me. <laughs> and now I just, I'm left speechless. You, you outdone yourself. Thank you. Outdone it was a, yourself. It was a total privilege to have, to have done that. I'm going to put it on a moonwalk out of here if you don't mind. <laughs> See you later, Mike. Earlier, I made a bet with Tyler, and the loser of it has to sweep the entire shop slot. We're going to go to the track, and we're going to race. Okay. The loser sweeps the whole thing. I've got 30 years' experience. There's no way in hell I'm picking up a broom at my shop. There's just no way. That's Tyler's job. All right, guys. Uh, glad to have you here today. We're going to do a little racing. We want everyone to be safe out there, okay? No reckless, out of control, smashing and banging. I ain't making any promises. Um, it is not to be taken lightly. These carts are very fast, 45 miles an hour. If you crash hard, you, you can definitely get hurt. So please keep that in mind. I've raced my whole life, so they stand no chance. I drive backwards fast when these guys drive. <laughs> My biggest competition has got to be my dad because he's been around longer. He thinks he knows what he's doing. Hey, big daddy, keep your left. If my dad tries to overtake me, I'll just take him out. Simple as that. What are you doing? Hurry up. Don't so slow. No way in hell. Absolutely no way in hell. He has no experience like I do. Oh, now it's on. I got this. Last time I wore one of these, I ended up in jail. I don't have a driver's license, so I'm not making any promises out there. You race like my grandma! It's embarrassing! Oh, look at that! 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 Oh, look at that!
Um, so, uh, let me let me check it out. Who won? Uh, where am I? Oh, the, I'm first. That's who won. I didn't expect what I just got handed to me back there. See that? That's dead last. But so what? I finished. 